Welcome, this is Coach Dorf. We're in section 2.3. We're gonna look at the following problem. Suppose I have a function f of x and f of x is always larger than or equal to the function 1 fourth x squared minus x plus two and is always less than or equal to the function e to the power x minus two quantity squared. Then you're supposed to figure out the value of the limit of f of x as x goes to two. Now you first might think, this is impossible because I don't know what f of x is. Well, that's true, you don't know what f of x is. But we can solve this problem by using a thing called the squeeze theorem. All right, so what is the squeeze theorem? Well, the squeeze theorem says that if I have a function that's squeezed in between two other functions, and I know the value of those two other functions at a particular x value, and those two x value, the, the limit of those functions at that x values is the same, then because f is in between those two, it also has to be the same value. So formally, what this is saying is, is um, if I have a function, let's say g, g is less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, all right, when x is near a for some value and the limit as x goes to a of g of x equals some value and the limit as x goes to a of h of x equals that same value, then the limit as x goes to a of h of x also has to equal that same value. In terms of a, a picture, you could think of it this way. Suppose I have a function that looks like this. All right, and then I have another function that looks maybe like this. I'm gonna call the purple one, it's gonna be my g of x. And my blue one is my h of x. And now, if f is somewhere in between these two, all right, what then is uh, the value? As I get close to this point a, what happens here? Well, if all three of those functions, if, if the blue function has a value of l, and the purple function has the same value of L. So we could say going across here, let's say here's L. Then the green, because it's sandwiched in between the two or squeezed be between the two, it also has to have a value of L. All right, so how can we apply that to this particular problem here? Well, we've got my function g of x is going to be the one, one fourth x squared minus x plus two. And then I have my f of x, which I don't know what it is. And then I have my function h, which is e to the x minus two quantity squared. Now, how did I know what g was and what h is? Well, it's because I know that g is always less than or equal to f. And if I go back to the original problem here, this is, gives me that this uh, one fourth x squared minus x plus two is less than, than f of x. That means that this part has to be g of x. And likewise, I have this part here, f of x is less than or equal to the e to the x minus two part, um, power squared, then the e part there has to be my h. Okay, just like I have in this part here. All right, so then what do I need to do next? Well, I'm trying to find the limit as x equals two of f of x. So let's look at the limit as x goes to two of g of x. So that's gonna equal the limit as x goes to two of one fourth x squared minus x plus two. And so I do the direct substitution method. Uh, I plug in, I substitute in x equals two and I get uh, one fourth two squared minus two plus two, 
and that all equals one. Then I also look at the value, the limit as x goes to two of h of x, which is the limit as x goes to two of e to the x minus two quantity squared. And so when I plug substitute in e uh, x equaling two, I get e to the two minus two quantity squared, which is e to the zero, which is one. So notice I get one and one for the limits of both of those. Now, since f has to be between those two, okay, it has to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to those values there. The only way that can work is if f, the limit as x goes to two of f of x is also one. So this tells me by the squeeze theorem, the limit as x goes to two of f of x equals one. Has to be that because it has to be between those two values um, or could include those two, one of those two values. But since those values are the same, it, one is the only possibility there, even though I don't know what f of x is. Now, let me demonstrate this um, with a picture of a graph here, okay? You don't need this to solve this, but this might help you visualize what's happening here. Okay, suppose I have my graph, um, here's my x-axis, and here's my y-axis. And I've um, used a program called Desmos to uh, go ahead and graph these already. So let me just see, my g is purple. So let's look at that. So my, my purple function is this 1 fourth x squared minus x plus two. So using um, Desmos, I can graph this one and the function looks something like this. So this is g of x equaling 1 fourth x squared minus x plus two. And then I'm gonna use the blue function to do the other one. My blue one looks something like this. And that is my h of x, which equals e to the x minus two quantity squared. And, and I'm told that my f is always between these two functions. So I don't know what f is, but it's gotta be between these two functions. And you can see that as, as I get close to the value, uh, I get close to the value of x equaling two, then all those functions um, have the value that limit is equal to one. And so f of x, the limit as x equals two goes to two of f of x also has to equal one. All right, hope that helps.